October 1966. Officers of UICC, or the International Union Against Cancer, and national delegates are getting together for the business and council meetings of UICC. Sir Alexander Haddo, the president of UICC. It is a central organization for international cooperation in promoting cancer research and for establishing anti-cancer campaign. International Cancer Congresses are held under the auspices of UICC once in four years, and the ninth Congress is about to open in Tokyo. A reception for the officers and national delegates of UICC is given by Dr. Tomizo Yoshida, Chairman of the National Organizing Committee for the Ninth International Cancer Congress. At the 8th Congress in Moscow in 1962, Tokyo was chosen as the site for the 9th Congress. Since then, the National Organizing Committee, under the chairmanship of Dr. Yoshida, had been making preparations for this Congress. Reception by the Mayor of Tokyo, Dr. Ryotaro Azuma. The first International Cancer Congress was held in Madrid in 1932 and subsequent Congresses were held in many of the large cities in the world. Brussels, Atlantic City, St. Louis, Paris, Sao Paulo, London and Moscow. The Registration Office for Overseas Members. Over 70 nations are members of UICC. The participants to the 9th Congress numbered over 2,000, coming from 68 nations. The total number of foreign attendants, including associate members, was almost 3,000. October the 23rd, 1966, the Nippon Budokan, The 9th International Cancer Congress meets for the opening ceremony attended by 4,500 persons, including 1,500 Japanese participants. Research workers and clinicians and social workers gather under a common cause of fight against cancer. The opening ceremony is being held in the presence of Crown Prince and Crown Princess. Sir Alexander Haddo, the president of UICC, announces the installation of Dr. Tomizo Yoshida as the president of the Tokyo Congress. <laughs> His Imperial <laughs> Highness, <laughs> Crown Prince Akihito. <laughs> Congratulatory messages to the 9th International Cancer Congress. Mr. Zenko Suzuki, the Minister of Health and Welfare. Dr. Fujio Engami, the Vice President of the Science Council of Japan. Dr. Janosch Vikol, representative of the World Health Organization. Dr. John Higginson, 
representative of the International Agency for Research on Cancer, and Dr. Nikolai Blochin, the president of the 8th Congress and president-elect of UICC. Opening address by Dr. Tomizo Yoshida, the president of the 9th International Cancer Congress. He said, the fight against cancer tries the capacity of the scientists, and there is also a social demand for scientists to control cancer as a disease. We have been waiting for this day. Entertainment after the opening ceremony. No play, Hangoromo, a classical Japanese art. Another representative classical art of Japan, the kabuki dance, Musume Dojoji. The scientific meetings of the Congress starting on October the 24th include five Congress lectures, 23 panel discussions and 84 section meetings. Our Congress lecture begins. The subject is the molecular basis of translation of the genetic message. Simultaneous translation using English and French is available through ordinary transistor radios. The chairman, Sir Alexander Haddo, introduces the lecturer, Dr. Severo Ochoa, a Nobel Prize winner from the United States. Dr. Ochoa talked on the biosynthesis of ribonucleic acid and the fine mechanisms of transmission of the genetic message. Panel discussion on advances in the management of leukemia and lymphoma. The focus of the discussion was centered on advances in the modern treatment of the cancer of hematopoietic organs and on Burkitt tumor and similar diseases in various countries. Dr. Victor A. Ngu from Nigeria. Yamanua Memorial Lecture. For the purpose of promoting international exchanges in cancer research, Yamanua Memorial Foundation was recently established in commemoration of the late Dr. Katsaburo Yamanua. He succeeded for the first time in the world in 1915 in producing cancer artificially by painting coal tar on rabbit ear. Prince Hitachi the younger brother of the Crown Prince. He is a biologist and attended the Cancer Congress as a member. Dr. Tomosaburo Ongata, the chairman of the board of Yamanua Memorial Foundation, speaks at the lecture meeting. A talk by Dr. Folke Henschen of Sweden. He said, I had proposed to present the Nobel Prize for Medicine to Dr. Katsaburo Yamanua, but unfortunately it was not realized. However, the cancer workers throughout the world admire Dr. Yamanua because he opened a new era in cancer research. The Public Relations Committee was established to supply the press with correct information on the Congress.
October the 25th. Section meeting on malignant lymphoma and leukemia. Their section meetings were divided into three divisions of basic research, clinical studies, and cancer control. And each division was further divided into smaller categories where discussions were carried out. A luncheon party held for associate members by the president of the ladies committee, Mrs. Waro Nakahara. Princess Hitachi and Princess Takamatsu, who patronizes anti-cancer campaign, were present at this party. Nodate, the traditional Japanese tea ceremony held in the open. Congress lecture on viruses in carcinogenesis. The lecturer is Dr. Renato Dalbecco of the United States. In his lecture, Dr. Dalbecco evaluated the course of in vitro carcinogenesis by tumor viruses. One of the section meetings in basic research, Structure and Biology of Cancer Cells. This is a work on characteristic differences between cancer cells and normal cells. During the Congress period, scientific exhibition is on display. Exhibits include 56 entries from 23 countries and 9 exhibits by cancer societies of various countries. October the 26th. Panel discussion on structure and biochemistry of cancer cells. Dr. Ryojin Kinoshita in the chair. Discussions were made on the important problems of structure and biochemistry of cancer cells from the point of genetics, nucleic acids, immunology and morphology of the cells. A garden party held at Chinzanso. The party spirit was not dampened by the slight rainfall Contributions are made to the Yamagiwa Memorial Fund. Some of the members seem to be slightly puzzled with chopsticks and Japanese food.
members watch juggling and other entertainments. October the 27th, panel discussion on international cancer organizations. Representatives of UICC, WHO, and IARC, or the International Agency for Research on Cancer, discuss the problems of international cooperation in cancer research. Congress Lecture on Cancer Immunology. The Chairman, Dr. Harold Stewart, introduces Dr. George Klein of Sweden. Cancer produces immune reaction and the human body has inherent power to fight cancer. Experimental evidences were presented by Dr. Klein for such immune reaction to cancer. October the 28th. Congress lecture on cytogenetical aspects of cancer, chromosome analysis in the study of neoplasms. The chairman, Dr. Eduardo Caceres, introduces the lecturer, Dr. Jérôme Lejeune of France. In his lecture, Dr. Lejeune discussed the problems from the point of abnormality in chromosomes during cancerization development of such cancerized cells and selection of such cells for cancerous growth. October the 29th, the last of the Congress lectures is going to be made. The chairman, Dr. Tomizo Yoshida, introduces the speaker, Dr. Harold Stewart. This Congress lecture is given as a memorial to the late Dr. Harold Dawn, who had been a Secretary General of UICC and died while in office in 1964. Dr. Stewart's lecture was entitled, Site Variation of Elementary Tract Cancer in Man and Experimental Animals as Indicator of Diverse Etiology. The Closing Ceremony on October the 29th. International Cancer Congress, attended by some 4,000 scientists from 69 countries of the world, finally comes to a close after having made numerous scientific achievements. <laughs> to Alexander Heddo, the outgoing president of UICC. Sir Alexander gives the chair of the president over to Dr. Nikolai Blokin of the Academy of Medical Sciences of USSR. Inaugural address by Dr. Nikolai Blokin, the new president of UICC. He said, cancer is now one of the most important problems for the people of the world. Our work is very important and responsible. We have many plans for the future. Dr. Robert Taylor of Canada, the new Secretary General of UICC, announced that the next 10th International Cancer Congress will be held in Houston, Texas, the United States of America.
Closing address by Dr. Tomizo Yoshida, the president of the Ninth International Cancer Congress. Dr. Yoshida recalled the hard and long work of preparing for the Congress and mentioned the names of the people who helped in the organization of the Congress. He expressed his confidence that the scientific contributions made at this Congress will play an important basic role in the progress of cancer research throughout the world in the years to come. Dr. Yoshida made special mention of the staff of the Secretariat and introduced Ms. Mizoguchi and her staff. expected that cancer patients of the world will benefit from the results of these scientific meetings. And when these scientists meet again in Houston, the last enemy of man, cancer, will be under greater control than it is now. Mm -hmm. 